We are learning more tonight about the graffiti that's being called a crime and has many people talking around Jacksonville. Police arrested the man accused of painting 11 electrical boxes. He says he was just trying to pay tribute to a New York artist. Now the city's trying to figure out if all the dark paint that was used could cause these electrical boxes to malfunction. Channel 4's Heather Lee talked with city officials about their concerns. It's hard to miss these paintings. They're still scattered all over the Riverside and San Marco area. The only problem is the artist, 42-year-old Kevin Southworth, didn't get permission from the city to use their 11 electrical boxes as his canvases. For months, painting secretively, Southworth was known as the ghost of Keith Haring, a deceased artist from New York. Tuesday, Southworth's cover was blown. Police arrested him, and he was booked into the Duval County Jail. I think that that's not right. Uh, I don't feel that's right. I don't think it's fair for them to cover it up. I think the city is saying art in public places. This is a public place. And the art is okay with me. The city says the paintings caused more than $1,000 worth of damage, and they're trying to figure out whether dark paint can cause the electrical boxes to malfunction. We want to see when there is paint or is not paint on it, how the temperature changes inside the box, because the ultimate goal is to protect that box. You can see the city attempted to cover up some of Southworth's work, but you can still see it. It's just covered in a silver colored paint. One reason why some people think it's a waste of money. Why not pay the police and, 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 and um, fire department their pensions rather than worrying about painting a box on the street? It's like it's ridiculous. This is a kind of cool, creative thing to do. We just want it done in a way so we can protect what taxpayers have invested in. Southworth faces up to five years in jail and thousands of dollars in fines. Heather Lee, Channel 4, the local station. The city says it is cooperating with JSO's investigation and says it's working with the Cultural Council as well as the Arts Committee to find a solution that encourages creativity while protecting city property.